Hi everyone, my name's Aisha and today we'll be making this talking lip sync puppet. Hello everyone! <laughs> so like our rabbit puppet craft before, the great thing about this one is you can find most things to make it around the house. Remember to ask an adult to help on this one though as there's a few tricky bits. You will need an empty cereal box, our template sheet, a paper plate, a pair of scissors, an old glove, a finished toilet roll tube, some PVA glue or strong glue, some sellotape, a ribbon, a pencil, some pens or pencils or paints to decorate, and a stapler. If you haven't got a stapler, you can use a needle and thread, but make sure an adult is helping you with that. So now we have all our things, we can begin. You might also find it useful to use some masking tape if you've got some later on in the craft, but if you haven't got any, don't worry, you don't need to use any. Also, our template sheet might need to be adapted slightly, depending on the size of your toilet roll tube. Take your template sheet and cut out the pieces, then draw around the pieces onto the cereal box. It should look a little bit something like this. Then cut out your pieces. Next, if we take our toilet roll tube and cut it in half lengthways, this will form the top and bottom half of our mouth and nose. Then if we take one of our pieces and cut about a centimetre off the bottom, this will be the bottom half of our mouth. If we take our second piece and cut slots about a centimetre into the bottom too. We're going to fold these back to make flaps which will help us attach on our nose to our plate at the end of the craft. Then draw your nose hole shape on our paper plate. It should look a little bit like this. Then cut it out and it should look like this. Our toilet roll tube half should fit snugly inside. Then Take your old glove and your scissors and cut off two of the fingers just at the bottom of them. When you've done that, make sure that you chop off the top of the finger too. You should be left with two pieces of finger that look like this and have a hole in each end. Next, we're going to attach our finger piece to the top and bottoms of our mouth. Remember to stick them on the shiny side of the box, not the cardboardy side. So if we pop our finger here, if we take our stapler and put a couple of staples just at the bottom here and just inside at the top here. If you haven't got a stapler like me, you can use a needle and thread, but please make sure you get an adult to help you do this. So if we pop a couple of dots just inside our finger there and back in, that'll attach it to our cereal box. So it should look a little bit like this. Then if you've got any masking tape knocking around, if you just pop that on top of where our stitches were, that will cover them for later when we paint it. Take your ribbon and cut two pieces about three centimetres long each. Then we're going to attach these to our mouthpiece. If you've got a stapler, staple it just here, but again if you don't, if you take your needle and thread Ask an adult to help you and make a couple of darts just through your cereal box too to attach them. It should look a little bit like this. Do that with both pieces of ribbon. Then if you've got some masking tape again, if you just pop the masking tape over the stitches. Only do this with one side for the minute. So next, we're going to attach our half toilet roll tubes to our top and bottom mouth pieces. So first, we need to turn it over and make sure we've folded down all the lines. And make sure you've folded down all the flaps on the circular end too. So now we're going to take our PVA glue and we're going to put some on the flaps. Just like that. Then we're going to take our toilet roll tube and we're going to fit the flaps just in to the top there. 
you don't think your glue is strong enough to stick, you can also add some sellotape to make it even stronger. Then we're going to take our PVA glue and we're going to stick some just along the sides. We want to do this on both sides. Then we're going to fold those sides into the toilet roll tube. You might want to add a little bit of sellotape inside too, just to make it that extra bit strong. And there's our top of our mouth and nose piece. Just do the same with the bottom. So now we should have all of our pieces ready. We should have the top of our nose and mouth with the flaps on. We should have the bottom of our nose and mouth with the ribbon on. We should have our paper plate with the slot cut in it. And we should have our eyes and our ears cut out. So now we're ready to paint or colour them in. We can make the animal whatever we want, so it doesn't have to be a polar bear like this one. I'm going to make a giraffe, so I've made two pieces for the top of its head as well. Once you've decorated your pieces, we're almost ready to stick them to our paper plate. But first, remember to attach the other half of the ribbon to our other half of our mouth. So fold the ribbon over into the mouth, don't leave too much of a gap, and use our stapler or needle and thread as before to attach the rest of the ribbon to the cardboard. So now we need to attach our nose and mouthpiece to our paper plate. So we're going to get our paper plate and we're going to slot in our nose, make sure it's in the right place. And we're going to turn our paper plate around. You can put some glue on the flaps first if you want, or you can just get some sticky tape and stick our flaps down to the plate. You can use as many pieces of sticky tape as you like. And it should look like this. When we're ready to puppeteer later, we're going to put our index finger and our middle finger in our top finger hole here and our thumb in our bottom one, like this. Lastly, using some PVA glue or sellotape, stick on your puppet's eyes and ears and if you're making a giraffe too, stick on its horns. They're called ossicones. And there you have it everyone. You've made your very own talking lip sync puppet. Well done. Keep safe. Bye. Why do giraffes have long necks? Because they have stinky feet of course.